Be careful what you ask for, because as soon as you start getting it, you might find out it's not what you really wanted. Let's talk about Claw Season 3, Episode 1. Yo, what's up? I'm Jaded Nerd, and this is going to be my recap, my reaction, my review for Claws Season 3, Episode 1 on TNT. The episode opens up, and it picks up from the finale last season. Remember, Desna finds out that she owns the casino. She done pushed the doctor over the railing, because remember, she was feeling some kind of way about being played by him, because he was her fiancé, and Salata. So she's like, yo, what's really good? And as she's celebrating and really thinking about this is the next level, Motorcycle pulls up, open shot. And Virginia is shot, they shot her in the head. Desna is freaking out, but we don't know who did it. There are a list of suspects because on her rise and on her climb to the top, she's pissed off quite a few people. She's pissed off quite a few people. It could have been the Haitians, it could have been the Russians, it could have been anybody. But right now, everybody is down to the hospital because they're finding out that Virginia then got shot. Okay, and that she's in the hospital and we really don't know what's going on. When Dean finds out that, because remember, Virginia and Dean are dating. They're very close and they have this very close connection. You get what I'm saying? And Dean started kind of shifting away from Desna back in last season because he wanted to be his own man. He wanted to be his own person and he was enjoying the relationship and the freedom and autonomy that he had when he's kicking it with Virginia. So I think... I don't know, but I got a feeling that Dean is never really going to forgive Desna for, for what's happening to Virginia. If you think about it, all the bad stuff that's happening to everybody, uh, Virginia, Jennifer, Polly, okay, um, all of them, um, Quiet Ann, it's all because of them dealing and rolling with Desna, following her dream following her vision, and I like to call her Lady Macbeth because her ambition is going to be the downfall of not only her, it's going to be all of their downfall. That is Lady Macbeth. So Dean is really freaking out about what's happening to Virginia. And then we get this little scene and we see this weird couple, this weird, 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 older middle-aged couple, and they're a key key. I didn't know, I don't know who they are, okay? And it's, it's, a, it's an older Native American, um, indigenous man, Native American, I don't know what the correct term is, and his wife, and they both sucking down oxygen because they didn't smoke cigarettes for 30 plus years and they can't breathe longer than two sentences at a time. But they, 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 they laid up, they're weird, they're tanned, they got these lifestyle paintings of themselves. They, I don't know what's up with them, but they were super weird. And I was like, I, I don't know. We find out who this weird, creepy couple is because they give you weird swingers florida tanned booths you know i don't know they give you swinger vibes they're very weird and what happens is we find out that it's, it's mac and melba and they were the doctor's partners at the casino so basically they own the casino they run the casino and and that's who they are they approach desna and they're basically saying you know oh well our condolences because she don't know who the heck they are she has no clue who they are but they know who she is they come to her with this fifty thousand dollar check they're basically saying we're so sorry to hear about your fiance's death we were his partners at the casino and she's thinking well that's news to me because i'm thinking that I own what he had, and I thought that I own all of this. They basically let her know that she can't be a majority owner. She's a minority owner, so she owns a small portion compared to what they got. And they basically try to buy her out with the $50,000 check. And I'm, I didn't even know what the financials of the casino was, but it's a casino, and $50,000 is like one old um, Baccarat hand at, you know, at the high roller table. So I don't know. It's weird. So... When she basically tells him that she's got a lot to think about and she's like, I don't know, I, I'll get back to y'all about that because there's a part of her that's thinking $50,000, that's nothing. And she already had her heart and her mind set on, she's got this casino, it's going to be on the next level. So she's talking with Quiet Ann and Quiet Ann is trying to talk sense into her. A lot of times Quiet Ann is the one talking sense into her and she's basically saying, look, just take the money. 
just take the money and run. Like, look, whoever tried to kill you, they tried to kill you because you they perceived you to get this casino. And who's to say that they may not come back and do it again? Or they might get you next time. Do you think this is worth it? And and, 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 and old Lady Macbeth, Lady Macbeth and that ambition, Lady Macbeth and that greed, Lady Macbeth saying them dollar signs, Lady Macbeth saying, you ain't going to punk me, I'm ambitious. And she's like, no, I don't want to run. I don't want to take the money and run. So... You already know what it's going to be, y'all. You already know what it's going to be. She's going to dig her heels in, dig her claws in, and she's about to fight for this because she's like, look, I've come too far. This is going to be mine. This is going to be ours. Me and the girls, we're going to be all right. So just keep your eye out on Lady Macbeth, y'all. Mac and Melba are crazy as cat shit. I say that because while Desna was getting approached about this money and getting $50,000, which ain't nothing, and Virginia is laid up in the hospital trying to recover and all that, She's got Roller going around trying to find out who could have done this. Could it have been Uncle Daddy? Could it have been the Haitians? Could it have been the 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 the, the rush? Like who did it? Who did it? So he he's rolling around <laughs> trying to find out what's good. And he rolls up on Melba and Mac. And they're torturing somebody. They're torturing this woman. I don't know what this woman did. They don't tell us what she did at first, but she's terrified. And they're torturing her. Long story short, he hits up Desna be like, look, I checked them people out. Yo, they crazy. They off their rocker. And they was torturing a woman. She in my back seat. She's so traumatized from being tortured and don't know who the hell Roller is. She jumps out the back seat of the car, rolls out into the street. One old tumbleweed, one old crash test dummy, one old stunt woman extraordinaire. She was not playing. She was not playing. I guess she felt like the alternative was either going to be more torture or death. I wanted to give a little shout out because I think that Dean's and Virginia's relationship is cute. I like the sincerity of it. I like the honesty in it. I like the fact that she just genuinely like, they genuinely like each other. They genuinely care for one another. And, and, it, and it's really nice to see. So let's get back to that woman that Mac and Melba was torturing down to that tent. And we find out that she's their accountant. They find out from her that that casino is pulling in $2 million per month. So that little $50,000, little, little couple of quarters they tried to throw her away, that ain't nothing compared to what she's supposed to be getting. If it's getting $2 million per month, that's 12 months times two. That's $24 million, okay? So what's up with the $50,000? And she also turns it because she's got the flash drive. So she's got all the records, all the transactions. She's got everything. And you want to know why they was torturing her? You want to know how crazy Mac and Melba are? Okay? Mac and Melba is so crazy, they tortured her because she asked for a raise. All she did was saying, look, y'all got all this money rolling through here. I'm I'm accessory. I'm culpable. Okay, I'm looking the other way. I'd like to just get a little bit more extra on the side. And they was like, no, man, Pam, nah. As a matter of fact, come into her office. And when she came into that office, they started torturing that ass. So she's like, I don't want no parts. I don't want no trouble. And they convinced her, look, let us handle this. We got this. Okay, so now we know $50,000 ain't nothing. And that there's a bigger piece of the pie or other pies. And y'all know Lady Macbeth. She all about that ambition and she all about that money is on now. Remember we talked about Uncle Daddy because he was a suspect. Roller rolled up on him and tried to be like, yo, did you do it? And he was like, no. If I, what, 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 what point would that prove? You get what I'm saying? So he shows up and he lets them know, I know who did it. It was Clint. And then it's all starting to make sense. You know what I'm saying? It's all starting to make sense. He lets them know, look, Clint did it. So Roller decides to roll up on Clint, okay, and find out what's going on. But before he finds Clint, Toby is the one that basically confirms it because he goes to where Toby and Clint going to be. Toby is like, look, Clint is the one that did it. He tried to go after Desna. I can't believe Virginia that got shot in the head. I, you know, and he's, and, 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 and Toby is the most trustworthy, most honest person on that whole little clique with Uncle Daddy and all them and that, that, that mafia. So it's like Uncle Daddy said it. Toby confirmed it. So now they got a direction now because Dean is freaking out. The reason why Desna is so dead set on trying to find this quickly, A, because she wants to know who did it. 
B, she's trying to secure her bag with that casino and she don't need people trying to shoot her and kill her. But also, she's trying to stop Dean from killing somebody else because he already killed somebody else last season. So she's trying to calm him down because he's like, look, I need to protect my woman. I want to know who did it so I can go kill them. So she's juggling a lot, but she's the cause of what she's juggling. If that makes any sense, it's like, you'd be like, damn. you like, all right, come on, you can do this. But then you start thinking about this is all you're doing, Lady Macbeth. Lady Macbeth, if you weren't so ambitious, none of everybody would be living their boring, regular lives, and none of body would be going through all of this. Thank you very much, Lady Macbeth. Thank you. When Desna and Roller go find Clint, they see him. They roll up on him, and they run his ass over. They run him over with the car, take him down to the swamp, dump his ass overboard for the alligators to have one old good snack. And it's like, okay, so now the threat should be gone, okay? I mean, it was kind of gutter the way she did it. And, 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 and interestingly enough, Desna is kind of like not really, I'm not going to say not satisfied, but she doesn't feel good about this. But then I'm thinking, well, what did you expect, Desna? There was an assassination attempt taken out on your life. Your friend, Virginia, then got shot in the head. Her eyeball, she only got one eye, okay? Talk about depth perception, okay? Polly is in the dang on nut house, voluntarily, may I add. But she's dealing with her mental illness because of what you did. That exacerbated it. Everything all goes back to Lady Macbeth. Supposedly, everything is all good. They didn't got the person that tried to kill her. Now, they can figure out what they're going to do about this casino. But of course, who doesn't have time for Hop on Pop? And they didn't, before they left that swamp, of course, Desna and Roller are going to get up in that car. And of course, they're going to be playing some Hop on Pop. Because remember, when she was marrying the good doctor, even though he was corrupt and sleeping with Zlata. But remember... Roller was the one that was eating them cookies down to the wedding dress before she even got married. So, yeah, they, 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 they romping around, romping around, romping around. And the box is so good that he's starting to get feelings. The box is so good. Desna done put it on him so good. That hop on pop was so good that it ain't even about just having a good time. He got feelings. He feeling some kind of way. And she's like, well, why you got messed that up? Why we can't just have fun? You know, why we can't just, you know, she said you can break my back anytime you want. But why we got to complicate things? And see, that's the thing about it. Lady Macbeth ain't got time to be tied down with a relationship. Lady Macbeth ain't got no time to be dealing with nothing other than ambition and getting that money. Okay. That's always been the end game. <clears throat> she always wanted to be a boss. And now that she's being a boss, it's a cautionary tale because people is coming for that ass. And that's what happens. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. And Lady Macbeth is starting to see that. So after she puts it down on Roller yet again, the legendary box, whatever, and hop on pop, whatever. And she basically is like, look, we just got to leave it where it is. It is what it is. All the crew is back. So Virginia's out the hospital. Polly is there. Quiet and Jennifer. Everybody is there. The whole crew. And... Lo and behold, she lures them in with yet another scheme. She lures them in with, come on, y'all. This is our opportunity. Come on. This is our come up. This is the glow up. Now, mind you, they've all just started getting their lives back on track. They have all gone through the ringer. They have all been compromised in some kind of way in their lives, their personal lives, their dating lives, their everything, professional lives, okay? People have lost their jobs, practices, licenses, okay? Child, look, all because of Desna. And yet again, here she is holding court, holding court. And it's like, what y'all want to do? But I want to give one more shout out. I like doing shout outs. And there was a part when, when Roller and Desna was down in that car and it was having... And he was beating the box up and all that good stuff. And I wanted to give one old shout out to Miss Nisi Nash, Desna, and them cassava melons. I wanted to give a shout out because them, them melons was sitting there nice and full and on display. The kids was not, I mean, she did that. So shout out to you, girl. Shout out to them melons. We see them. The cleavage was on point. So now that they are all on the same page. Now that they're all committed, now that they're all in, they all roll up to the dang on casino. 
they roll up on Mac and Melbourne. Now, Mac and Melbourne and thought that, you know, Desmond and took the check. She took her little fifty thousand, her little bit of pennies, and she done rolled off into the sunset. No, ma'am. She's basically like, look, I'm not taking no fifty thousand dollars, and I know what y'all are bringing in. I know that y'all bring in two million dollars per month, and the good thing about it is, I don't care. But she's saying, look, do what y'all do, get your money, but I want half of it. So if y'all making a mil, you know, two million a month, I want my million. Do what y'all need to do, and we ain't going nowhere. So y'all gonna make y'all money, y'all gonna pay me. And me and my girls, we're going to be straight. And that's what it's going to be. And Melba and Mac is like, well, no, we don't want to do that. And let me call out something about Melba and Mac because I told y'all they're weird. They give me swingers vibe. They sharing the same oxygen tank. So every two breaths, he got the mask to his face. And then every other three and four, fifth breath, she got to take the mask and put it to her face. It, and it's so funny because for them to be so ruthless... And for them to be in a position to be torturing that woman and to be these, you know, these nefarious characters, they can't even breathe longer than, than two minutes at a time. If you really want to take them out, just just take the oxygen tank. That would that would end everything, child. Cut the cut the hose and watch them suffer. But look, that's a little bit too much. That's that's too easy, right? We got to stretch it out. So. As Mac and Melba are, are tap dancing and countering, they're like, well, we'll give you 500K and if you just need to leave. And they're like, no, nah, we don't want that. So basically they told them, we're not taking what you're offering. We want what's ours and y'all going to deal with it. I was getting my life and they had this little scene where they kind of come to the realization that they're in a new league. It's far removed from the nail salon. It's far removed from the pill mill where it was pushing out the medicine and all that stuff. They doing casino level money now, okay? They gonna be making bank. And again, shout out to Miss Nisi Nash and the Kasaba Melons. Yes, I won't call her Lady Macbeth because when the Melons is out, it's Nisi Nash. But every other chance that she's Desna, that's Lady Macbeth. And Lady Macbeth and her ambition is getting on my damn nerves. But it was a cute little sequence. They're filling themselves. They're filling the money or the potential of the money. And they're really, really happy about that. Just when you think that they done got to come up. She done put her foot down. She's the boss. The motorcycle person shows up. Helming it all. So I'm like, what's really going on? Because I'm thinking that they pulling up to the casino. They about to finish the job. And, and Uncle Daddy is asleep. The person walks up in there with the gun and the silencer, and I'm like, okay, what's really going on, right? Child, he wakes up. He's a hope, hope, he's freaking out. They run him over there to the table, push him down. And I'm thinking, oh, Lord, what's going on? And then they pour the lube out. I'm thinking, oh, because remember, Uncle Daddy is a freak. Uncle Daddy is one old, one old daddy, honey. He is one old daddy, and he keeps his twinks on lock. He loves his twinks. And I'm thinking, what kind of freaky stuff you done got going on now, Uncle Daddy? But when that helmet came off... And it was Toby, and the whole time, Toby is the one that was trying to kill Desna. Toby is the one that shot Virginia. Toby is the one, and the reason why he did it is because he didn't like the fact that Uncle Daddy got, to, you know, he felt he got cheated out of what was his. He felt like Desna took what wasn't hers. He went off some racial stuff, some sexist stuff. I'm like, girl, what's really going on, Miss Twink? What's really going on? So Uncle Daddy lied. Clint is dead because of Toby and Uncle Daddy. Roller don't know. He done fell in love with Desna because the box is so good. Desna done turned into Lady Macbeth. So all she's seeing is ambition and dollars. The rest of the crew just got their lives back. And now they're about to toss it all away again. Because now there's even more money to be had. Dean is losing it. Dean wants to kill people. Child, it's a mess. But I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this episode of Claws. I like the fact that it's going to be interesting again. I like the fact that child, that casino takes it to another level. So they may never go back to that nail salon. So now they're doing it. But look, what did you think of the episode? What was your favorite part? Least favorite part? How did you feel about the twist at the end? Okay. Do you think that Uncle Daddy would do any and everything to get back what he feels is his? And do y'all really think that Desna is equipped to be the boss? Because if y'all know about Macbeth, that's that's one of those, you know, tragic hero type stories. 
The thing that makes them great and the thing that makes you like them and root for them is the very thing that is their downfall. It leads to their demise. Her ambition will lead to her demise. But if you can, put everything in the comment section below. I want to hear what y'all have to say. If you can, please, throw a like on the video. Subscribe and share. It's greatly appreciated. I'm Jaded Nerd. I'll talk to y'all next time.